Hello guys, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to play blackboard football. And by the way, I would like to apologize for the sound. I left my uh, clip-on microphone at home, so I'm using a different one. Um, so anyways, let's get back to our game. Um, there are two versions of this game. There is PowerPoint football and there is Blackboard football. Uh, if you want to download PowerPoint football, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I did not create PowerPoint football game. It was created one of the teachers who uh, lives and works in Japan. And this teacher has his own blog. Um, and you, if you, if you, if you click on the link in the description below, you can go to his website. There are tons of very useful PowerPoint games and resources there. They're completely free and I hope you're gonna like what you are going to find there. But today I'm going to show you how to play Blackboard football, which uh, requires little or no preparation. All you need is a piece of chalk, a blackboard, uh, a die, and also this little prop, a football, a ball, with a little magnet here, which you put here. So, how do we play this game? First of all, you need to choose your target language. So, um, I played this game in one of my videos uh, before. Uh, as um, if you watched my previous videos, then uh, you would probably remember that I played this game in my at the playground class. If it's your first time on my website, I'm going to leave a link in the description below, and you can go and watch this video. So, um, uh, in my in, in in my class, uh, we practice a dialogue. So you can practice dialogue or you can choose any target language you want. Uh, here, for example, I'm choosing relative clause and let's say I want my students to practice three types of sentences. For example, a pilot is someone who flies a plane. Um, a pen is something that we use to write. And let's say a school is a place where we study. So um, when you play this game, you need to divide your class into two teams. In my case, it's boys and girls. But in your case, you can divide them into team one, team two, team apple, team banana, whatever you want. And then you need to draw this on the board, this football field. And... Um, Put your ball in the middle of the field. And then you split, yeah, as I said, you split your class into two teams. And then you, let's say, uh, you decide who goes first, boys and girls. Let's say uh, girls win. Then you ask two girls to stand up and act out a dialogue, if you're doing a dialogue. Or just say one or two sentences. Here, for example, you can even... Um, for example, this could be your target vocabulary, depending on uh, the topic of your class. So they would need to choose one of these words and use it in the correct sentence. And after this, uh, the girls or uh, the team who is playing first, they would need to throw the die, roll the die. So how does it work? If they roll one or two, they move the ball one space. If they roll um, three or four, they can move the ball two spaces, one and two. But if they get five or six, they can roll the ball three spaces, and this would be one, two, three, and if it's three, they score. They, yeah, they score a goal, and every time they score a goal, they can get, well, it depends. 
uh, one point or 10 points or whatever works for you. So for example, if we start the game, uh, let's see, well, I'm on team, like I'm a, uh, I'm a boy, let's say I win, and I go first. So I would say a sentence. A pilot is someone who flies a plane. And then I roll a die, and I have two. So I would get, I would move my ball uh, one space, yeah? I would move the ball one space. All right, now it's the girl's turn. They roll the die, and they get three, right? So they would need to say a sentence. So for example, um, a library is a place where we read books. And then they would kick the ball back. So that would be two spaces, one and two. And this is how you play. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's very engaging. If students are lucky, if they roll five or six, they can score goals. And it's a chance to play football in the classroom. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the comment section below. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.